Hi, welcome back to our channel again. In this video, we will see how to run automation test in Chrome browser using Selenium and Python all together. But this will be Windows version and the editor or IDE will use Visual Studio code. So let's get started. To automate any browser like Google Chrome, we need to download the driver. We can download the driver from selenium.dev website. Once you are in this page, somewhere you will find the downloads link. So for right now, it is in here downloads but if they modify this downloads may be located left or right side just search there i don't know when it will be updated but right now it is here so i'm going to click downloads location once we click the downloads location will be in the download space and then scroll down a little bit slowly and you will find a text line like platforms supported by selenium and there is a browser so we need to download the driver for our browser so we need to expand this thing if you click then it will expand and over there you'll find Chrome. So this is the link to download Chrome driver. So what we have to do, we have to click here to access the Chrome driver download link location. Okay, and here you will find all versions are available in downloads. So just click the downloads and you will see all the supported versions of uh, Chrome driver is there. Right now there are a couple of versions of Chrome like 83, 81, 80 and for each version the supported driver is these things. Okay, so at first we need to figure out what is the version of our Google Chrome. To see the version of our Google Chrome, what we have to do, we have to click this three dot in the top right corner and it will pop up this type of menu. From here we have to go help and once you are in help then it will show you about google chrome just click over there and it will show you the uh, google chrome versions of your computer right now we are seeing that it is 81 for your case uh, it is something or some different just remember it okay as we have 81 and so we have to come here in this download page and we need to download only the supported version of driver for google chrome 81 so this is the 81 version of google chrome and the supported version is this side so I need to uh, click here uh, to access the thing. For your case, if the version is different, just download that version, uh, that supported version of driver. Okay, so right now 81 is for my Chrome browser version. I'm going to click here. And I once I click here, then I will be in this space. Here we'll see a couple of driver download options like Linux, Mac, Windows. As we are working in Windows machine, though, we have to actually use this Windows version of uh, driver. So I'm going to click here and it will start downloading on my computer. Once the download is finished, then we need to go to that particular location. So I'm going to the particular download locations for my computer. The download location is under downloads. So in the downloads, we'll see that there is a zip file uh, which is downloaded. And to open this thing, actually, we need to extract. We can extract by using some software. But the easiest way to extract, just right click and then uh, you will find open with option. Just go and check this thing and then you'll find windows explorer just click there and it will be like this way okay and over there you'll find the chrome driver.exe so this is the driver but we need to copy this thing and we need to put uh, somewhere in our project to organize the best way to do is just right click and copy and put it in the desktop because we are putting it in temporary right i'm putting it over the desktop and it will copy uh, that thing to the desktop so this is the driver now we don't need this thing we can close this thing Okay, so now we need to uh, link this uh, Chrome driver to our project. Okay, so uh, previously, actually, we created this folder, Selenium Python. This is the folder. Okay, so inside this folder, we have to open and then we will see all the files are there. So what we have to do, we need to organize our code uh, so that it will be portable. We can port this code anywhere of the computer or any other computer also. Then we can run the script without any error. So what we have to do, we will create a folder and we will put this driver over there. So I'm going to right click and choose new folder, new and then new folder. Okay, and I'm typing the folder name as drivers. Okay, I'm putting the name is drivers, there is S because uh, right now we have only one driver like Chrome driver. In future, we need to run the program. I mean the test to test the program or application for uh, like uh, using some other browser like Ace browser or Internet Explorer browser or Firefox browser, many other browsers. Okay, that's why I, I made it drivers and inside the drivers, what I will do, I'll put this uh, Chrome driver inside it. We can drag and drop it or you can cut or paste or you can copy and paste. Anyway, you can put this location here. Okay, then it will be there in the drivers and if you come here and if you uh, click this refresh exp refresh then you will see then there is a folder driver and if you expand this folder then you will see the chrome driver is there okay so here 
okay so now what we have to do we can close this thing now what we have to do we will create a python file which can actually use this driver to uh, automate the browser so what i am trying to do we will create a folder under selenium python we can create a folder by choosing this new folder and we can uh, put the name like uh, selenium project But you can put any name okay so inside the selenium project we have to uh, write uh, on uh, python script because to automate and we will use python so right click and then choose new file and put the name of the uh, python file suppose the name is chrome then underscore driver then underscore uh, then this is windows computer so i'm typing windows then this is for uh, vs code dot python so i type this name but you can use any name uh, it's fine uh, but i made it more specific so that you can easily understand that's why but you can put any name of the python file but don't put any space in between the letters or words okay so now our python file is there we created this file then what we have to do we have to write the script to automate uh, using the driver so at first we need to import the web driver we can import web driver by typing the command or line from then from selenium it will come from selenium so we are seeing there is selenium and then what we have to import we have to import web driver right so i have to type web driver and we we'll get the web driver once we get the web driver then we need to open the chrome driver right so we can type driver equal to equal web driver this is the web driver object okay so we are typing web driver web driver dot then we will use um, google chrome right so we have to type chrome and then inside it we have to put the path location of that uh, driver so we can type executable path so here is the executable path just hit enter and it will auto complete and then uh, put it uh, code and inside it put the path right now uh, we are in this level right so but our chrome driver is different level like under drivers right this is the root folder and under it there is two folder drivers and selenium project and our code is in this folder right so we need to jump at the root and then we can go this folder we can actually uh, get this driver right we cannot directly get from here to here right so what we have to do we have to type a dot and then after that we have to type uh, type slash and then after that we have to type the driver name what is the driver name uh, i mean the folder name drivers drivers then then slash and then chrome driver because the chrome driver is there chrome driver and then that's all you can ignore the exe then go to the next line and type driver dot get uh, get is the method inside the get method we have to type the url of uh, some website here we are going to type the google.com but you have to put the http first others it will like there and then run it and when you will run you will find this store in message for the first time so when you will run for the first time uh, in uh, windows computer you might get this type of warning so what you have to do you have to uh, click this allow access okay and you have to check this thing okay then allow access then there will be no problem okay i just click here and then we see that the chrome browser is open successfully let me do one thing let me close uh, and let me try again whether it is really working properly or not so i'm going to close this thing and right click uh, so uh, another thing i want to mention that there is two way you can run the program you can also click this triangle uh, to run the application okay or the python script so i'm going to right click and then i'm choosing run python file in terminal and it will uh, open in the google chrome browser and we are seeing that it opened the google chrome browser and finally it goes to google.com so in this way using this uh, python script uh, and selenium all together we can automate our browser okay right now we used only google.com but you can use any other name also any other uh, name is any other website and here you must be careful it will start with http so hopefully by watching this video you will able to uh, automate or write some code which can automate your google chrome browser and we used here windows computer and uh, we use the visual studio code one more thing i want to mention uh, if this video is useful for you or if it is helpful for you uh, then please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel if you don't subscribe please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching see you on the next video